Hey team, one of the challenges that I hear a lot, especially when I'm talking to like, you know, executive uh, MBA classes or whatever, is, you know, should I keep my job or should I go out and buy a business or start a business or start a side hustle? Or, you know, how do I think about, you know, what it is that I do in my career in terms of ownership or starting or keeping where I am um, in terms of, you know, advancement or anything else? So. Um, I'm gonna have a little fun today. I'm gonna I'm gonna connect some dots. Uh, use a mental model that hopefully will will uh, uh, add a little bit of structure to to making this decision. Uh, my name is Walker Dival. I am the Wall Street Journal bestselling author of Buy Then Build and creator of the Acquisition Lab. So you know I was recently at a conference and uh, I was I you know I was speaking or whatever. And even before I went on stage, I was there and you know some some people you know people who had read the book and you know watched the YouTube channel whatever that. That, you know, they, they started figuring out that I was there and I love these situations because it's just so rewarding to know when, when your work has made an impact and changed lives. It literally is just the, the most flattering, humble, hum, humble, humbling experience that, that one can have. And I, I will never forget. <clears throat> I mean, I've met, <clears throat> I, I, don't, I don't even know, like, like dozens of people who are making, you know, tens of thousands of dollars a month just because they read by then build just that and it changed the way they think about things and they went out and executed, okay? And this woman came up to me and uh, African-American woman um, in her 30s, I'd say, and she was crying and she held my hand and she said, uh, I'm, she whispered like through, she was like, I'm now making $30,000 a month. And I could tell uh, the impact that by then build had for her and the the thing was was you know when, when I drilled down a little bit into her story I, you know it, the, the the subject was she was in a job she had a job like she it's not like she was unemployed and you know had this sort of like you know rags to riches extreme story but the thing was was she was in a job that she didn't actually love um, it was paying the bills but whatever by then build sort of changed the way she thinks about things and she went out and you know um, uh, bought you know joy you know went out and bought a company right effectively so um, so what I want to do is kind of walk through, you know, maybe what was kind of going on there and also uh, what might be going on uh, with you. So it, this, we're going to use Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Okay. I was first introduced to this, like in like seventh grade psychology class or something. Uh, sorry, sorry. Like 10th grade psychology class. So, you know, basically it just starts with basic human needs and moves up to, you know, complete enlightenment or whatever. So at the bottom here, you've got, you know, physiological needs, right? So I'll just put, you know, physical, right? Um, and, you know, this is like food, water, rest. You know, some people put sex in here, right? You know, I mean, j just all kind of your physical needs, right? Um, and then, you know, and then basically the next one is sort of like safety, right? So you need, you need to be able to have a safe place, you know, as a living being, uh, to sort of be. So after you have like food and water, you're kind of looking for, you know, how do I, how do I get safe? How do I sort of level up my, my experience here? Um, next is, is actually like love and belonging. Okay. So, you know, once, once you've got food and water and, and rest and safety, I mean, now you're really looking for, you know, relationships, community, you know, um, family, a tribe, right. Of, of people, you know, with the same values and everything else. Um, after this comes esteem, okay? Esteem is sort of like, um, you know, recognition, status, um, achievement, you know, freedom, right? I mean, this, this kind of a thing. And then all the way at the top, you have this sort of, you know, um, self-actualization. And this is, this is sort of like, you know, I, you know I'm kind of joking in, in like the, the Buddhist term of enlightenment or reaching nirvana, right? It's, it's just sort of like complete self-actualization. So some people will break this up into, into more things, but I mean, these, these are the five basic levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now, if I, if I take, if I just kind of have fun with this and say, okay, what if we were to apply, you know, our sort of careers uh, to this kind of thing, what would it look like, right? And so I came up with, okay, you know, you know just basic, basic making ends meet, you know, this is sort of, this is sort of like, you know, your hand uh, to mouth um, kind of existence, right? You've, you know, you're, 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 you know, you might even be sleeping on someone's couch. I mean, you have a, you're, you're, you're scraping by, this is scraping by is what, what's going on here. Then you sort of move on a, on a safety and I'm going to go with, you know, this is, um, you have like, you know, any job, like any job, right. That basically allows you sort of a, a steady income say, right. Like, you know, maybe some benefits, you know, whatever. 
um, you know, but uh, but maybe not much more than that. Maybe maybe if you're you know very aggressive saver like I was in my twenties and still am, um, you know, you might have you you might be able to save a little bit at this at this time and, and whatever. Then you get sort of love and belonging, and this is where I'm going to say you know this is a this is sort of a, a, a job that you're really good at, right? So this is where you're able to use, you know, your, we'll just call it like unique ability, okay, to um, to execute what it is you're doing. You're making more money, like, you know, all these things kind of roll up into one. You're having fun, you're, you've actually figured out what you're good at and you get to apply it, right? Um, usually with, with, a, with a team of people and, and other things like that. Um, then you sort of move up to esteem, right? And, and this, I'm gonna say, uh, is you're becoming, you know, best in class, right? This is where, you know, you have a reputation, you know, you've got all, um, all kind of, you know, accolades, you know, maybe, you're, maybe you're doing some public speaking in terms of like the things that you're doing, right? Things like that. Um, and you're on your way to uh, getting up here. I'm going to go ahead and call this like financial independence. Okay. And what that means is that, you know, you, you have worked yourself out of a job. Right. And you are if you are completely financially independent and young enough to still like work and function and all the other stuff and not like on some beach retired somewhere. You know, this is this is that moment where you sort of get to the top of your game and you kind of realize like you finally get to the top of the mountain and then you realize like, oh, there's there's another mountain like, wow, it's bigger. Like I, I didn't even see that mountain as I was kind of climbing through here. Right. And so, OK, the thing is, is like Walker, I don't even see anything with business with, you know, ownership and uh, uh, entrepreneurship in here. And what I'm gonna challenge you with is that I think that the, the single fastest way, okay, for most, most people to reach financial independence or like real material wealth is simply through business ownership, okay? Um, down here, you know, this is that sort of like, if you read Buy Then Build, this is the sort of prep funnel that allows you to you know, use your invested dollars and your work towards active income in order to buy the sort of best business, you know, kind of available, right? Then once you get up here, you know, this is kind of like where you're able to kind of, you know, invest time and money to become, you know, the best and work towards this financial independence, which, you know, I, you know, effectively 100% of millionaires own their own business. I mean, it's just a fact. So the truth is, is that the fast, the single fastest way to sort of accelerate from just having a job or a job that you love, okay, or even best in class, is simply to uh, go through business ownership, okay? It's simply all of the empirical evidence suggests this. And it's one of the reasons I wrote by then build, it's to get people so that the time that they're spending doing these things will actually lead to, you know, uh, building their balance sheet and you know, building a flywheel around climbing up this this uh, uh, hierarchy. Okay, so um, you know, ultimately, I think the thing is, is that you know, when you get to um, self actualization, this is your best self. Okay, this this is when um, you become you know mission driven and are able to be, maybe even become smart money. Right, if you want to become an investor, this is ultimately where this is all going. Right. So here's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Here's how they apply to uh, the work that we do out there. And here's the secret accelerator uh, to, to go ahead and, and get all the way through it. So listen, if you are looking to buy a business in the next one to 24 months, consider the Acquisition Lab. We built the Elite uh, Accelerator around uh, business acquisitions, uh, anchored in world-class education, all the tools, resources, supplier networks that you're gonna need. Um, we've got, you know, 14 uh, different advisors. We use diamond approach to advisory. We've got, you know, a full Slack channel and almost daily uh, coaching calls with these advisors. Lastly, uh, we've got a vetted community, right? We're the largest vetted community of uh, business buyers in, in the world. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of these where only 25 to 30% of applicants are extended an offer to enroll. And as a result, uh, we've you know we've we've cleared um, over two hundred million dollars in member acquisitions um, in in the last year. So, thanks so much. Check it out, and we'll see you on the inside.